folks, how you doing? Captain Mark here, the Kid Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. Hooked up with a lot of guys over at the Edison Show, and they were really talking about how they enjoyed the how-to videos that I do. So today, what we're going to do, it's going to be fluke fishing. Just a quick how-to. We're going to go through what I use, the inexpensive stuff, all right? And then we're going to say uh, how we rig it up. And I'm just going to go quickly through the components, what we do, okay? First thing, we're going to start off with, and we're going to... It's going to be very hard to see this, but I'm going to try to let you see it anyway. All right, the components here. I believe this crazy Alberto uh, does this stuff, but these are tactical angle clips, all right? Those are big ones, that's what we use for uh, tuna, but they also have small ones like this, and these are 50 pounders right here, all right? Hope you get a good video of that. And that's what we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using those because these, if you look at these, these are the old swivels. The problem with these is what happens when a fish sometimes bites heavy, it will come and compress this snap and the snap opens, and you lose a fish, all right? That cannot happen with a tactical angles like that. You just, you just can't do it. Killer invention. I've been using these things ever since they came out. All right. Hat tip, as they say, to tactical angles. Crazy Alberto. Yeah. So what we're going to do is quickly, I'm just going to do a quick video of what we're going to do. We're going to pull arm length 30 pound test. What am I using? Trialing 30 pound monofilament. You're dealing with a fluke. Fluke are not that uh, line shy. You know, people say use fluorocom, use fluorocom. You use fluorocom for everything. Go to the pool house if you like. But you'll notice all the stuff that you get off of the uh, shelf, usually heavy-duty uh, monofilament. All right, this is 30 pounds, so it's a lot lighter. It's got a lot better action to it. And what we're going to do right now, very simple. We're going to come up maybe a foot and a half, and we're just do a drop loop. Remember how we do a drop loop? I'm going to see if I can do this with you guys. I'm just going to hold this end to keep it out of my, out of my way. And we're doing an over loop, just an over loop like that, right? If I can do this now. I'm going to see if I can do this. Basically, and what we're going to do is we're going to spin these guys over each other, right? Spin them over eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got that little hole right there, right? There's that. We're going to take this bottom piece of it and going to stick it right through that hole. That's going to be your drop a loop. I'm going to open that hole up, going to come through with my finger. How you doing? And that's it. Here comes the drop loop coming through. See if you guys can see that. There's drop loop. All right, there's your drop loop. What we're gonna do below the drop loop, very simple, is we're gonna tie a tactical angles clip. Gonna grab one of those bad boys. This is as simple as it gets, cats. All right. The reason why I like these clips so much, and I'm gonna see if I can get you a better shot of them. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll give you a little background to it. Oh, you're probably seeing what's on the other side of that. How you doing, ladies? Yeah. All right. Just going to tie that. You're going to see on the top of this tactical angles clip, it's got a barb going this way. That's how you're going to put the thing on. So that will be your top. Very simple. We're doing a loop over. Going to come through that top. Very simple. It's called a polymer knot. Look it up. Very simple knot. There's our overhand knot. We're going to drop our guy through the middle. Boom. Going to pull. Oh. This is the cruel, this is the scary part for video. Get it wet, drop it, drop it like it's hot, tighten it up. Boom, how you doing? Don't get too crazy ripping those tag ends off, all right? Don't get too tight on them. See how much extra I have on that tag end? So, here we go. We got this guy. We got a drop loop. We're gonna do that drop loop. You're gonna stand by because I'm gonna go into my I'm gonna go into this box here, baby. Look at this. What's in here? You're probably asking, huh? What's in here, kid? Uh, in there. Which one would it be? Those are the assist hooks. Pinky Tuscadero. White. Pink. Orange. White. Circle hook. White. I don't want that. I don't want... Ah! There we go. I'm going with those bad boys. All right, that's going to be our top teaser. Simple as it gets. These are ridiculously cheap, all right? Go on the All Pro National. Seriously, I know I beat plug them a lot, but All Pro National, these things are wild. Look at that. Very beautiful. They're cheap as heck. I, damn, how do you mean you get in this box? Four in a box. Those are Pinky Tuscadero's. Good to start the year off when the squids come in. But we're going to go shut truth because you know that's my color. That is the all-pro teaser right there. Again, you get 40s for next to nothing. 
nice hook perfect size hook for this I'm going to take that we're going to stick it right through the head all right boom bring everything through the loop that's our upper dropper loop that's the upper drop loop hook it on just like that and that's it all right so we have this is going to go to a barrel the top's going to go to a barrel the bottom we're going to have that right there is a tidal tails bucktail but they go on like a champ they'll take two seconds to pop on pull it on like that it's on that will not come off all right it can't fail they can't bite me off it'll have that movement up and down it's it's perfect so as the current picks up you're gonna be able to bang out just re-switch you're gonna switch out in two seconds what are you gonna switch out to oh you say hey kid i'm gonna try to do that rig with this what is that that's a rat all right so you can run a rat high low rat you can run a high low bucktail any bucktail you choose uh i like personally using rats just alone really mrs kick kills it with the rats but but you could use these rats for just a single hookup Squid spear and combo on the rat, completely deadly. Tidal tails, don't forget. I mean, it's a deadly little gizmo. I mean, I don't know how John Knight thinks of these freaking things, but this is a very simple. Got a swivel in it. It's really, really, really easy to fish, really friendly to fish, especially, like I said, back in videos in the past when you're running these long, off the shelf type of uh, three ways and long leads next thing you come up and everything's crumpled up in one thing that happens when you have wind against tide and everything's spinning below that will never happen so if you start to see that if you have kids on board and they're bringing up these big spaghetti balls of bait and and, and the leaders all wrapped up shoot them over to a rat they, that will not happen with a rat the rat goes straight down it can't fail it can't foul it doesn't do anything it's a perfectly easy thing to fish so contemplate having one of those things and not, not one but grab a couple of these throw these in your uh arsenal you know i always say that love those rats they're so simple to fish and they're killer all right so that's it that's gonna be our rig all right another thing i want you to look at do not be afraid to fish this early season all right we're talking right now we're talking early season fluke fishing all right what happens is especially long island sound those spearing took forever and sandals took forever to get to us last year but what always happens is we're always gonna get a squid run all right we always get squid there always consider having one of these jigs just to drop off the bottom all right this is a great little killer thing for um to simulate those squid all right they almost with the with the uh, assist hooks it really just is a thing that you just kind of bounce off bottom really slow these are 60 gram wangs all right you can use whatever jig you want but the 60 grams are going to probably do it for you all right that's going to get you down it's going to be a light enough presentation that's going to be cool so if stuff's not happening drop a wang to the bottom whatever i'm saying drop a wang because i like wangs but drop a wang to the bottom just kind of work it off the bottom boom pop it up pop it up pop it up that thing is just gonna keep jumping up kind of floating boom it's gonna look like an effed up squid all right that's what you want to do so think about that so if things aren't happening on bait on bucktails on the high lows say hello to that guy drop him in there again beginning of the season i would go for the old pink again we're trying to mimic that uh, squid bite so what are we using you want to go inexpensive right here these are the daiwa bg 25 hundos all right 20 pound test on them why i go to 20 is because i use these simultaneously for blackfish jigs as well when i do blackfish season this is a tsunami rod heavy this is heavy believe it or not but medium heavy is perfect seven foot is cool and it's inexpensive this whole setup is under 200 you might want to pop your head over to our friends over at pelagic right now they have just a ton of cool stuff they'll spool up your stuff i think i think chris is spooling up the reels for nothing hey guys i'm chris pelage yeah, outfitters stop in for some great deals thanks so much all right on that note check this out this is what the kids are using this year this is like a gazillion dollars so i run a lot of i have five of everything if you look up my shop up here i have a thousand freaking rods of duplicates right because i bring people fishing right i have to have five different of the same setups but this year, not happening. I'm having my own rig. This is the old Billy Baruch. Billy, 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 Billy. Kiko Cheese. Right here, we have the Daiwa, the 3000DXH. All right. This reel right now goes for 300, all right? This is a Nano. I'm not even going to tell you who makes this rod, but I'll tell you who gave it to me. But my boy Rocco gave it to me. But this is a nano technology. This rod, this whole system weighs, I think, a couple ounces. It's, it's insanely light. But I'm going to show you this. This thing is so light, but it will handle up to 10 ounces. That's insane. I mean, this, this thing is ridiculous. 
But this whole setup's a fortune, all right? This is probably a setup right here. This is not for an old person. This is just me screwing around. Billy, Billy. This is a biggie. Screwing around. Oh, jeez. All right. This is not for a normal person. This is extremely expensive setup here. Let me see if I can turn it around here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. That's what we're talking about. This is big money. Big money. I don't suggest anybody, you know, especially kids and stuff like that. You're starting out. This is not where you want to go. This is like crazy money. I don't know. Again, you want a fast tip rod. All right, why? Because you want to just work that tip. You want to be able to rip that freaking uh, bucktail into its, into the fish's face, all right? People think I'm crazy with hook sets, but Fluke have extremely tough faces, so you can kind of say hello and pretty good. Once you say hello, you got them, all right? Guess the thing. Just keep the pressure on them, reel them in, reel them in fast, reel them in slow, whatever you want to do, but just keep pressure on them. All right, plays, play, hit this. That's basically it, though, all right? 30 pound test, monofilament, tactical angles, 50 pound clip, up a foot and a hook. You gotta do a drop loop like I showed you. All protease right there. Strip a squid on it or put a spearing on it and hold on. All right, here we're gonna just do a palm and knot to a small barrel and it's gonna go right to your rod. All right, you could either do a uh, double uni knot to go into your braid, but I just highly suggest that you fish braid like this. And the rig itself is small. You could tie yourself a bunch of these, put them in Ziploc bags, and you're ready to rock and roll. So that's going to be this episode. Remember, at the beginning of the season, we're going to kind of duplicate that squid run. That's what the big fish are going to come in first. They're going to go after that squid stuff. Try to match those colors. Once you start to see Green Bay spearing sand deals, transition yourself over to chartreuse. And rule of thumb, fish white whenever the heck you want to, all right? White is uh, one of Texas' favorite colors. He likes white. So white is always good throughout the year. Take care, everybody. Remember, brush your hair. Thanks for watching this week, Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. This episode brought to you by Allen Yacht Sales. Whether you guys are looking for a brand new Everglades, a beautiful sailfish, or just a used boat, reach out to my man right there, Colin Whitney, over at Island Yacht Sales. All right, that's over in Lyndhurst, right off of Wellwood Avenue. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We'll keep it up. We're going to uh, touch base probably next episode about blackfish, spring blackfish. What? Shake it easy. Gotta go.